Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Well, um, my guest this morning is Dr. Annabelle Sharbet. She grew up over in Europe um, in London. I love London. Uh, she's a writer, and she's been writing since uh, 2006. She wrote a comedy play called Sound Advice, and it was performed by CP Theatre Productions in London. Dr. Sharbet recently published her first novel, A Life Lived Ridiculously. It's a story written from the point of view of people who suffer from distorted thinking. Her inspiration behind A Life Lived Ridiculously came from her research work as, get this, a neuroscientist. Uh Uh-huh, beauty and brains. (laughs) Dr. Sharbert holds a PhD in neuroscience from University College London, and she has writings published in scientific journals. This book sounds hilarious. It's a story of a girl with OCD, which is obsessive compulsive disorder, and what happens when she was seduced by a sociopath. Uh, This is another book on my to-read list. It sounds really, really funny. Um, Now, although there's humor, there's some serious issues being um, being dealt with here. OCD um, and being involved with a sociopath is no laughing matter. Coming up next, Dr. Annabelle Sharbet. She's going to be here to talk about her new book and the serious side of OCD and having a sociopath in your life. We'll be right back. You're listening to AM 1520, a new voice, a new choice. The Jackie Price Show is now accepting applications for salespeople. Email your resume to priceproductions at ymail.com. Come on and be part of the team. If you have serious back or neck pains, call Dr. Reeb today. He's helped so many Western New Yorkers with their pain with his spinal decompression procedure. Here's one of Dr. Reeb's patients, Penny from Orchard Park. I had disc damage in my back and neck. I tried various types of treatments but still had pain. The spinal decompression worked for me. I am now pain-free and able to resume my daily activities. Dr. Reeb has also helped Leslie from Williamsville. Well, I was sent to physical therapy. That didn't help. I finally went to Dr. Reeb and he discovered a bulging disc in my neck. After only two sessions, I was pain-free. Dr. Reeb has also helped many pro football and hockey players in this area. Here's Rene Robert. I wish I would have met Dr. Reeb when I was playing hockey. I probably wouldn't have been in the shade that I was in. He certainly put me back on track to where I'm very comfortable with my back and certainly pain-free. As you've heard, my spinal decompression procedure has helped many people who are now living a healthier life. Let me help you today. If your back or neck is bothering you, call Dr. Reeb today. Call 1-888-59-SPINE. That's 1-888-59-SPINE. This is Dan Fabrizio. Auto Place Nissan is having the largest sales increase in Western New York. Here's why. We guarantee the lowest price on every new Nissan we sell. Only Auto Place Nissan puts this guarantee in writing. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Auto Place Nissan is also the only dealership in the entire Buffalo area to give customers a lifetime powertrain warranty at absolutely no charge. Your new Nissan or select used vehicle is covered for an unlimited time or for unlimited miles. Plus, our exclusive lifetime warranty is good anywhere in the United States or Canada. Go to AutoPlaceNissan.com for all the exciting details. Before you make a decision, remember, AutoPlace Nissan has the lowest price guarantee in writing, and we give you a lifetime warranty at no charge. Why would you buy anywhere else? Right price, right place, AutoPlace Nissan, guaranteed. Main near transit, Williamsville. Hey Buffalo, it's Leslie Marshall and you can catch me live every weeknight from 7 till 10 right here on AM 1520. We're the only true democracy in talk radio, Buffalo, of, for, and by you, the people. That's the Leslie Marshall Show weeknights from 7 till 10 on a new voice, a new choice, AM 1520. You're listening to The Jackie Price Show on WWKB, AM 1520, a new voice, a new choice, Buffalo. Welcome back. You're listening to AM 1520, a new voice, a new choice, and I'm Jackie. This segment of The Jackie Price Show is brought to you by Airport Salon in the Buffalo Niagara International Airport. Your stylist is Romanos George, and he always validates your parking. Fly in or call in for an appointment. 
716-634-6644 Airport Salon in the Buffalo Niagara International Airport Well, I'm back and I'm not alone Good morning, Dr. Sharbet Good morning, how are you? Oh, I love your accent, I'm fine Welcome to the Jackie Price Show Thank you, thanks for having me on the show um, I want to congratulate you on your new book A Life Lived Ridiculously You must be very happy I am. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a neuroscientist. Tell us exactly what you do as a neuroscientist. So, um, my latest project actually, um, I mean, I've, I've been studying a lot about mental health, but interestingly enough, my very latest research was actually migraine research. Okay. So um, that's what I've been doing lately. Okay, and you um, you do writings. Um, they appear in um, different um, what scientific journals? I understand. Yes, absolutely. Um, what's typical with science is you do your, you do uh, the research mm-hmm. and then you come up with findings. You publish it in scientific journals, um, which are peer reviewed, and you know if they find it interesting, they will publish it. So yeah. that's. Really exciting. I absolutely love that. Oh, I bet. I bet. Now, your life, uh, uh, your novel, A Life Lived Ridiculously, came about because you wanted to write a story from the point of view of people who suffer from distorted thinking. Now, without giving away too much, what is your book about? The book itself is about, in a nutshell, about a girl with obsessive compulsive disorder and what happens when her parents, who are desperate to find her a husband, mm-hmm inadvertently set her up with a sociopath. <laughs> uh, and it sounds um, like you do, you, 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 you use humor to um, show what these people go through. Yes, I, I like to write with humor because when you're telling a story, sometimes things really are just so ridiculous. And my style of writing has always been to inject it, it with British humor. Mm-hmm. So that really runs through the story from the start to finish. But having said that, I remain true to the conditions of the two main characters, the yes. girl with OCD and then the sociopath. What made you want to write a book, uh, a story like this? Well, as a neuroscientist, I'm obviously interested in mental illness. Um, I find obsessive compulsive disorder particularly important because many people suffer from it and I believe that still many people suffer in silence from symptoms that are not um, publicized in shocking television documentaries Mm -hmm. or that are not reported in all the textbooks. We've got all the um, standard things everybody thinks uh, about like washing and um, checking and hoarding, mm-hmm. but that's not the whole story of OCD. Mm-hmm. Um, you can be obsessive about absolutely anything that crosses your mind, mm-hmm. and I think I believe those people suffer in silence. Mm-hmm. So I made my character have symptoms that were not typical, mm-hmm. and really I- illustrate her isolation throughout the novel. Um, the sociopath angle is also very important. The reason is that first of all. Sociopaths are everywhere. Mm-hmm. Most of them are not in jail. Most of them never commit violent crime. Mm-hmm. They're 4% of the population, and we could be related to one, dating one, married to one, sitting next to one at work. Mm-hmm. Um, so we need to be aware that they exist, and their particular uh, skill is to prey on vulnerable people. So whether you are vulnerable because you're just vulnerable at this particular point in your life, or because, as is most typical of mental illness, mm-hmm. which is what my, this particular book deals with, um, you, you're prime prey, you're good prey for a sociopath. They can sniff you out miles away. Mm-hmm. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's what made me want to write this story. Mm-hmm. You know, um, are you familiar with the television show called Monk? Yes. <laughs> yes. So when I when I hear like OCD, that I immediately think of someone like Monk. So this is going to be a very educational um, show today. Um, where can people purchase your book? Um, a Life Lived Ridiculously is at Amazon um, in both ebook and print version, Barnes and Noble as well, and in stores at Barnes and Noble as well. If you want to walk in and buy the print version. Mm-hmm. Of the book. Mm-hmm. Now, OCD and being involved with a sociopath is no laughing matter. Although you said, you know, you, did, you, you do use humor in your book, you're, um, you're still sensitive to these conditions, correct? Oh, ab- absolutely. Um, and I 
my aim was to remain entirely true to the condition. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, um, let's talk about these mental disorders. Um, starting with OCD, um, am I using the correct terminology? Is OCD a mental disorder? Yes, absolutely. It's um, it's an anxiety disorder, okay. um, very specifically, okay. um, and it's characterized by um, recurrent unwanted thoughts, which are the obsession. Um, and those thoughts actually are accompanied by the, a sense of um, alarm. That's where the anxiety comes in. So it's not just thoughts like a little song that goes around in your head, which is just not accompanied by the alarm and the dread, but mm-hmm. it's, it's worse than that. And then what the person does is typically they'll engage in repetitive behaviors in an attempt to rid themselves of the thought and thereby hoping to calm down the anxiety. Mm-hmm. Can people have OCD in various degrees? And I mean like in a mild form or or a more extreme form. Oh, yes. I mean, some people will be completely incapacitated by their symptoms. Really? Um, They'll be completely unable to leave the house. But other people may have symptoms so mild that it's only triggered during times of stress, like moving house or getting a divorce or or stress at work. Mm-hmm. So it, it really can vary depending, I think, a combination of depending on the person and depending on how long they've been suffering left untreated. Oh, okay. How is OCD diagnosed? So typically you want it diagnosed by a doctor, preferably a psychiatrist. Um, they will, one of the systems they'll use, actually a popular one, it's called the Yale Brown Obsessive Compulsive Scale. Mm-hmm. And it assesses the um, types of obsessions and compulsions and their severity. And then, and so the patient basically answers um, certain points, like how much time is occupied by the obsessive thoughts, uh, how much do the thoughts and or compulsions interfere with, um, with your life, mm-hmm. the level of distress that this causes, uh, how, how successful you are in resisting the obsessions and compulsions, and there's a whole list. There's um, over 20 questions, okay. and then the depending how the patient answers, their OCD will be graded as mild, moderate, severe, or extreme. Okay, and then they'll know what type of treatment they're going to get, correct? Yes, mm-hmm. then treatment options will be suggested. Okay. Well, doctor, we're going to take a break now, and when we return, um, more talk on OCD, okay? Of course. Okay, great. So um, we'll be right back. You're listening to AM.